What's up guys, The Snowman here, and I wanted to make this video today because if you know anything about me, you know that my favorite women's athlete is the American soccer player, Mallory Pugh. Well, I was checking Instagram a few days ago and I saw this picture uh, that Mallory posted of her and Atlanta Braves shortstop, Dansby Swanson, an ex number one overall pick in the MLB draft in 2015. And, uh, you know, I was, I was pretty heartbroken for a little bit, but after I got over it, you know, it got me thinking, wow, that would be, you know, if they are an item, if they are a couple right now, I mean, it looks like they are good for them. Um, it got me thinking though, that's got to be up there with some of the top sports power couples in the world right now. So it got me thinking like, well, who are some of the, the best, you know, two athletes I'm not talking about, um, I'm not talking about like Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union or Justin Verlander and Kate Upton or like Russell Wilson and Sierra or any Kardashians. I'm talking athlete and athlete, either dating, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend or married. Who are the best power couples in sports? So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make a quick video today uh, giving you my top 10 power couples in sports. And again, uh, it's got to be athlete to athlete. And I'm not going to include Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf or Mia Hamm and Nomar Garcia Parra because those are two kind of uh, legendary age old ones that we all know about. I wanted to get a little, a little more creative than those two. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, these are my top 10 power couples in sports. Number 10, we have a couple that just started dating this year, Aaron Rodgers and Danica Patrick. And of course, Rodgers was in a long relationship with Olivia Munn from 2014 to 2017. Patrick was with uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. So uh, they're both coming off long relationships, but you know, I'm not 100% sure this one's gonna last. Rodgers has a much better on field or on court or on whatever resume than Patrick. Being a Super Bowl MVP, winning a couple other regular season MVPs. Patrick actually has zero career wins in her NASCAR career. So I don't know if this one's gonna last the test of time, but certainly a lot of star power, mostly on Rogers' end, but, uh, but yeah, they, they come in at number 10. Number nine, I'm going all tennis. I'm going with the uh, the Swissman, the Stanimal, Stan Vavrinka, and his young Croatian girlfriend, Donna Vekic, who's a very good tennis player in her own right. She's kind of uh, ranked in the low 30s right now. Stan, uh, a three-time Grand Slam champion, 2014, he won the Australian Open, 2015 French, and 2016 US Open. So he's, he's a surefire Hall of Famer. And uh, there is a, a big age gap with this couple. Stan is 33 years old, Vekic is 22. Vavrinka uh, recently divorced as well a few years ago. So uh, they've been dating though for the last two or three years. Um, I really like it. They got a lot of style though. They're very cute together. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how long this one lasts, but they come in at number nine. I really like them as a couple. Number eight, we have Alex Morgan and Servando Carrasco, and I'm a lot more confident that they are definitely here to stay. Uh, they've been married since 2014. The two soccer players met when they were both at the University of Cal, so I like that uh, college sweetheart aspect to this. Um, Morgan with a lot more star power than Carrasco. He's just kind of been an average midfielder throughout his MLS career, but Morgan, obviously, she's been a star on the cover of FIFA, got her own movie, World Cup champ, gold medalist, all these different things. She's coming off the best year of her international career in 2018 where she was just in scalding form so morgan definitely the breadwinner of this power couple but uh, she provides enough power for the both of them number seven we have bastian schweinsteiger and anna ivanovich a very very cute couple been married since 2016 schweinsteiger the german legend 500 caps for bayern munich 121 appearances for germany and he won the World Cup in 2014. He's also won eight Bundesliga titles for Bayern Munich, a Champions League title. He's won everything there is to win. He's uh, playing for the Chicago Fire right now in the MLS, so they are living together in Chicago. But like I said, very cute couple. Ivanovic, the 2008 French Open champion and uh, an ex number one ranked player in the world. So they're definitely, uh, they're definitely a great sports uh, power couple as well. Number six, I wanted to put a little bit higher, but uh, Sue Bird and Megan Rapino, they began dating in, I believe, fall of 2016. They kind of kept it under wraps for a while before Sue Bird came out publicly, but they have been just thriving the last couple of years. Uh, Bird, WNBA all-time leading assister. She's also a three-time WNBA champ, a four-time gold medalist, 11-time all-star. And then Rapino, she's a World Cup champ. She's a gold medalist. She knows a thing or two about assisting as well. Probably has the greatest assist in soccer history as far as I'm concerned. Her looping cross to Abby Wambach in the 2011 World Cup quarterfinals against Brazil. But I love it. They are, they're living their best life right now. They're flourishing. You got to love what they've got uh, going right now. So Bird and Rapino, they come in at number six. 
All right, before we get to my top five, I just wanted to take a quick Derek Jeter interlude and pay homage to the greatest dating diamond that the world has ever seen. I mean, we, we all know about what he did on the field, but this is truly amazing off the field as well. So I just wanted to, to look into the camera and say, Captain, you have my respect. Number five, we have JJ Watt and Kelia Ojai. Watt providing pretty much 95% of the star power here with him being a, a three-time defensive player of the year in the NFL. Only Lawrence Taylor can say he's accomplished that. Over 90 career sacks already, uh, second in MVP voting in 2014. Ojai, a lot less people know about for sure, but she's she's a great soccer player. I mean, she plays for Houston like, uh, like Watt, but she plays for the Houston Dash in the NWSL. She's a good player, an ex-Tar Heel, uh, led the league in scoring in 2016, so... You know, Watt, Watt admittedly said, too, before they started dating a couple of years ago that he's kind of a little socially awkward. He kind of bounced around, had, had a few other high-profile relationships. He was involved with uh, Caroline Wozniacki, I believe, before he got with Ojai. But, uh, but they've, they've, you know, they stick with each other. They both had some really bad injuries the last few years. Um, J.J. Watt tore his ACL, but they seem like they are there for each other, their commitment, and, uh, yeah, it's a good couple. Speaking of Caroline Wozniacki, you know I wasn't going to leave out her relationship with the basketball star David Lee, the all-star in 2010 and 2013. He's also uh, an NBA champion with the Golden State Warriors in 2015 and a former Mr. Show Me Basketball award winner for the best high school uh, basketball player in Missouri. He won that in 01. Uh, big names like Jason Tatum, Bradley Beal, and Tyler Hansborough also won that prestigious award. But no, no, uh, Wozniacki's probably got a little bit more star power than David Lee. I mean, she is the player who's been ranked number one in the tennis tour just as, as recently as 11 months ago. Won her first Grand Slam title this year down under at the Australian Open. She's the fourth highest paid female player of all time in terms of uh, career on-court earnings. So yeah, I'm happy for them. We know that Wozniacki was with Rory McIlroy. They were engaged and, uh, and they broke that off. And she kind of was a little depressed for a while, but they found each other and she's, she's kicking butt like she never has before. So it seems like they got a, a good thing going. Number three, we've got soccer meeting basketball, Lauren Holiday and Drew Holiday. And like Alex Morgan and Servando Carrasco, they started dating in college. Not Cal though for them. They both went to UCLA and they've been married since 2013. Uh, really a great relationship. Drew, a couple of years ago, you know, when Lauren got hospitalized, he was there for her and uh, he took some time away from the sport of basketball. He's been very open about that, very emotional about that whole time. But they're they're both, you know, all-star caliber players. Lauren Holiday, a World Cup champion in 2015, also a U.S. Soccer Young Female Athlete of the Year in 07. Retired kind of young, but then you have Drew, who's coming into the prime of his career now, 28 years old, an all-NBA defensive first team guy from 2018 as well as an all-star with the Sixers from 2013. So you gotta love it, the holidays coming in for me at number three. Number two, we have Sidney LaRue and Dom Dwyer. I don't wanna waste too much time with their on-field resumes, these two great soccer players, because they're just absolute couple goals. I love, I love them so much. They're a great follow on social media. They've been married since January of 2015. LaRue hasn't been playing for the last few years because she was giving birth to their firstborn son, Cassius. And he's, uh, he's pretty adorable. She's also got another baby on the way. So she's uh, she's pregnant right now. I don't know if LaRue's ever going to be able to come back to her soccer career. But it looks like their family, you know, they're just loving how beautiful things are with their family life. So Dwyer is going to have to hold down the fort on the field. But as far as the couple, I mean, this is all about just couple goals, their family. Uh, look at some of these picks. I just feel like they're perfect for each other. And yeah, I love it. Sydney LaRue, Dominic Dwyer, Cassius Dwyer. It's just a, it's just a good looking family. Finally, my number one power couple in sports, you've got the Philadelphia Eagles tight end Zach Ertz and the U.S. Women's National Team star Julie Johnston or Julie Ertz uh, because they were married in 2017 and they, they've got to just be on top of the world right now with Ertz winning the Super Bowl last season with the Eagles, him making the game-winning touchdown catch in the last few minutes. Ertz, Julie was in uh, the stands that day cheering her husband on and... You know, they met, she went to Santa Clara, he went to Stanford. They met at like a Stanford baseball game, but they've been like inseparable since starting the, the ESPN, the body issue last year together. That was a great shoot. Um, and, uh, and yeah, Julie Ertz, she's maybe the best defensive midfielder in the world right now. Uh, used to be a center back, but she's converted and she is just kicking butt for the U.S. Women's National Team. 
And uh, yeah, Ertz having one of the best seasons of his career. I think he might break the the rec Jason Witten's record for most receptions in a year for a tight end. So uh, they're just killing it. They love each other. They're committed. And in my opinion, an outsider's view, it looks like they've got it all right now. So I'm so happy for them. And it looks like they are just couple goals personified. So Zach and Julie Ertz, you are truly number one. All right, that's my top 10 sports power couples. Please let me know, comment if you think I missed anyone. I know I'm probably missing someone big, but uh, yeah, that's all I could think of. If you enjoyed this video though, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media, and uh, yeah, if not, I'll see you soon and uh, cheers.